followed by a full 360 degree roll. First one way, and then the other. The Raptor's primary fuel tanks are internal, which increases its stealthiness, so in-flight refueling becomes critical. By refueling the jet in the air, the range of the F-22 is extended without compromising its ability to stay invisible to enemy radar. Rainey tests the in-flight speed brakes. The flight computer instantly coordinates several control surfaces. The ailerons move up, the flaps move down, and the rudders swing out. The Raptor continues to perform flawlessly. The final maneuver tests the emergency landing gear. If the pilot loses his hydraulics during a flight, this system allows him to lower the wheels. So far, so good. After one and a half hours, the pilot and the plane return safely to the Earth. The emergency landing gear disables the steering, so the Raptor is towed back to the hangar. So now Steve Rainey can relax. Oh, it's, as always, flying is fun. If it's not fun, you're not doing it right. For now, the pressure is off the pilot, but not necessarily off the plane. The task of interpreting the enormous amount of data gathered by the instrument at F-22 begins. A computer is rolled to the plane, and more information is downloaded. It's time to debrief. Test pilot Rainey and chase plane pilot Beasley's first-hand impressions will be added to the computer data. With each test flight, more and more is learned about this latest flying marvel. Knowledge that will be used to expand both the safety and the effectiveness of the Raptor. In the 21st century, more than 300 Raptors will join the arsenal of America's Air Force. I don't want to send my son out to do battle in anything less than the very best equipment I can give him. Uh, obviously, this kind of technology takes a long time to develop, so you have to have the will. If that will is there, I think this airplane will develop into a tool which cannot be matched by anyone else on Earth. I feel very fortunate and very lucky to have been the first Air Force pilot to fly the F-22 what I'm most proud of. It's being a part of a team that is bringing together a national asset that will ensure air dominance for my kids, your kids, our grandkids in the future.